Welcome to Twilio Tip Tuesday. Tip number 20 is a tour of the Twilio documentation. Twilio's documentation covers all of our products, but we'll be looking at the SMS product for our example. The documentation covers everything you need to know about the given product, and there's a lot of different ways that you can get into it. The first thing we'll look at are what are known as usage guides. If we click on the send your first message, we'll be dropped into the SMS usage guides, which first show us how to send messages. Just as a brief primer on the documentation, there's pros over on the left, and then over on the right, there is code that is broken down by language. You can change to a different programming language or even to the Twilio CLI to see how an API might be called from the CLI. Another type of documentation that we have are quick starts. Quick starts walk you through an entire end-to-end -end example of how to use a Twilio API. In this case, we're looking at the programmable SMS quick start for Node.js. This will walk you through how to buy a Twilio phone number, how to set up the Node.js dependencies for using Twilio from your applications, how to send a text message, and how to respond to incoming text messages. Along the way, you'll learn how to install the Node.js helper library for Twilio. You'll also learn the ins and outs of using Node.js with Twilio using code examples that show you how to send text messages and respond to incoming text messages. Quick starts are really great for when you want to get up and running with a particular API using a specific programming language. The last step in the quick start talks about what's next, and it gives us a link to our next example of documentation, which are our tutorials, which show you full production examples of how to use an API. For SMS, we have a bunch of different use cases that might be interesting for SMS, including account verification, two-factor auth, appointment reminders, employee directories. We're going to take a look at the ETA notifications with Node.js and Express tutorial. Notice that there's a drop down here to pick a different language and web framework if you didn't want to work from Node.js. The ETA notifications example will show you how to trigger different notifications to let someone know when you'll be arriving. This is a common use case for Twilio, and this is a full production sample of how you might implement ETA notifications into your Node.js application. It shows you how to set up the Twilio REST client using Node.js, how to send SMS notifications to the customer, how to use the Twilio Node client to send the SMS, how to handle an incoming message that might be sent back to your application. Tutorials are great for when you know what you want to build, but you want to see an example of it in action. Finally, there's the API reference. This is for when you've already started building your application and you want to see how all of the different pieces and parts of it work. If you're ever stuck with a part of the API or you can't figure out how something works, this is a great place to come to dig into the details. For instance, you can take a look at the message resource to see all of the different properties that might be used from the API. All of the properties and endpoints that would be available for any resource within the SMS API is available here in the API reference. There are also a number of different code samples that are available within the API reference. Here we can see how you would list all of the messages that have been sent in to a particular account or a particular account's number based on some matching filter criteria. While this Twilio tip has been covering the SMS documentation, we have documentation for all of the products that Twilio offers. Please feel free to explore all of it. That's all for this Twilio tip. If you've enjoyed this tip, I put the playlist for all the other Twilio tips we've done over on the left. If you want to watch another video, I picked one out just for you over on the right. And until next time, I'm out of here.